Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at set 21141, The Zombie Cave. This set is recommended for ages 7 to 14 and has around 241 pieces. So here on the front of the box, we've of course got the Zombie Cave. We've got all of the minifigures included, or slash figures at the bottom. Uh, I've got the new corner box art for Lego Minecraft 2018. Uh, Lego Minecraft logo, of course, at the top. Here on the back, it shows all of the play features and what the set looks like from behind. And that's pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the set. Now, in my the whole in the whole video where I got this set, I said that this would be this is my least favorite of the 2018 Minecraft sets. But uh, I've been debating whether it still is, so I guess we'll sort of see if it is still. So uh, here is what the set looks like from the front. So I guess starting off with play features, uh, we've got a button right here. Or at least that's supposed to be representing a, a stone button, I guess. So if you push that. Then this TNT comes out, so that goes like that, and it sort of explodes there. Uh, so uh, you can get it to launch pretty hard, uh, depending on how hard you push it. So it works very well. Uh, you can, of course, if you want to, you can take that block of TNT out. And it would have been nice to see if you took the block of TNT out, then it wouldn't explode. But um, uh, I guess that's just something I should I I would have liked to see. Because uh, they've done it with a couple of other sets with TNT explosion features. Um, but uh, one thing I'll point out is that the fences are built differently. I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, instead of using the flower pieces, they're now actually using just regular hollow studs uh, in brown. So I really do like that choice. Uh, although we've been using the flower pieces for fences for quite a while now, uh, so now they're changing that. Uh, they're using the same ladder design that they used with the Ice Spike set, as well as the uh, mounted caves, so they're using that here. I think that works very well still. Um, we'll take a look at all the figures later, so I'm just going to move all of them out of here. Um, but uh, up here at the top, we've got a furnace, and that is the new furnace design where you can actually reverse it. You can have it uh, being have make it look like it's cooking something, and then make it look like it's not, so that's nice. Got a couple of blocks of gravel here, and uh, these uh, we've seen gravel blocks before in the uh, what should I call it? The crafting box 2.0, uh, and now we get in a much cheaper set, so it's neat. Um, also, these uh, flower pieces are new. I believe that, or at least the flower pieces on top are new. Those are the new 2018 flower pieces. Uh, if we take a look at this from the back, so we've got another action feature. So if we pull this, then there will be a gravel collapse feature, so something that you can do if you want, you can uh, put maybe the baby zombie up here, you can have him stand on the gravel, and you can pull that, and he goes into the lava, or something like that. Uh, let me try that again, let's see if we can do it with a different figure, let's try just the zombie. Uh, there we go, it works with the zombie, of course it's not going to work perfectly all the time, but uh, most of the time it'll work pretty good. Um, another play feature that you've got uh, is with the bat, so you can fold up the wings if you want, and a sim this is the same feature that was in the mountain cave, you can actually hang them up on a block, specifically this one right here, so basically how they did this is they uh, used an inverted tile here, let me just take that off, uh, they used just an inverted tile like that and then just put a jumper like that, so really it should be facing like this, but with that tile there, it sort of gives it the feel that it should be the other way or something like that. But, uh, yeah, uh, same feature as in the Mountain Cave, but uh, definitely uh, happy to see that they carried that over to another set. Um, although I will say the proportions uh, are of that are off right there, but uh, that's perfectly fine. It's not very noticeable at all. Uh, and then just throughout the set, there's a lot of ores that can re be removed as well as blocks. You can remove these. Uh, very obvious uh, stone blocks that are uh, covering up some diamond ore. Uh, so you can mine that if you want. Uh, you do get an iron pickaxe with Steve, so you can mine that. Um, you've also got other ores include this coal ore here, so you can mine that there. That's right there on the ceiling. Let me just put these blocks back there. Um, then here on the front, we've got a gold ore that can be mined, as well as this redstone ore. 
uh, and all these ores are on jumper plates, of course, because usually they are. Um, and those are all the ores, so a lot of cool removable stuff. Uh, we've got a torch here, uh, so if you want to, you can whoops, take that off, maybe put it somewhere else, like maybe there or maybe here, but uh, you're most likely going to want to keep it there. But uh, that is pretty much it for features. So the overall look of this set is very similar. Well, not very similar, but uh, it's uh, it's another cave set. So and we've gotten a couple of different cave sets before. We've, of course, got... Well, first we got the cave, then we got the dungeon, then we got the mountain cave, and then now we got this. Oh, we also got the mine set, but yeah, that I should have concluded that. But uh, got a... So, oops, that comes off sometimes, too. Um, so, I feel like calling this the zombie cave is a little bit... I'm not sure if that's the best name, uh, just because it has zombies in it. But uh, I feel like this should have been uh, the first cave set. or this, this should be called the cave. This set is more worthy of the name of the cave, I feel like. Because the first cave set, uh, not sure. That one doesn't really hold up to this one, definitely. Um, but, uh... For what, it, for what that one is, it's still an okay set, but uh, definitely calling this one the zombie cave uh, seems like it should be have like a, a zombie spawn or something like the dungeon does, but uh, I don't know. If you, if you get what I'm saying, then well, you get what I'm saying. But overall, the look of this set is pretty well done. I do like how they did the lava there sort of flowing into there, to the lava pool there. I've got some water here with some sugar cane, and okay, this I don't like. That keeps coming off when you try to move the set. Um, but overall, just a very simplistic set, and just a very generic set. I feel like it's just similar to a lot of the other smaller cave sets, and that's probably my least favorite part about it. There's not a whole lot of interesting stuff to this set other than the figures, which I will get into right now. Well, the first figure we have here is Steve, and he is Steve. There is really nothing new or interesting about him. He's got an iron helmet, iron pickaxe, and he's holding a cookie. Pretty much sort of the same version that came in the Desert Outpost set. Next up here is the zombie, and similar to Steve, there is nothing new or interesting about this figure. He doesn't come with any armor or accessories. He's just the same old zombie we've been getting since 2014. Now right here is probably the reason, one of the few reasons that you would want to get this set. and. Uh, it's because this is the baby zombie. This is the first set to ever include a just regular baby zombie, and so far is the only one. Uh, we do get a baby zombie pigman in the nether portal, but this is a just regular baby zombie, so this is the only way to get uh, this figure at the moment. I think it was a smart move to put a desirable figure in a sort of a, not a cheap set, but sort of a non-interesting set. So you can see it uses this mold right there. I believe that's new mold as well as this. Uh, this is a different size than the actual uh, Minecraft head, so that's not the same size. But uh, that's pretty much it for this. Then probably another reason why you would want to get this set is because of the bat. Now previous this bat is not exclusive to this set, but it previously came in a much much more expensive LEGO Minecraft set. In fact, it came only in the biggest, largest, expen most expensive LEGO Minecraft set before this, which is the Mountain Cave. Um, however, LEGO was generous, generous enough to give it to us in a cheaper set. Even though I do have the Mountain Cave, it's nice to get a third one. You can have a little, uh, what do you call a herd of bats, or I don't know. You can have a little army of bats, I guess, if you want. And you do get an extra one of those uh, face, uh, uh, little face uh, one by one plates, so that's pretty neat. So if you want, you can maybe make more of those guys. So here is the instruction manual for this set here on the front. Pretty much same stuff as on the front of the box. Uh, here it shows that you should open up the bags according to their numbered in their in according to their number in order. Um, Got instructions, instructions, uh, more instructions than the final product. Our good old list of pieces. Uh, that continues on to the second page. Uh, little uh, shows that you can con combine all of the Minecraft 2018 sets or all the Lego Minecraft 2018 sets together, and then it shows all of the Lego Minecraft 2018 sets there. And then advertisement for the LEGO Minecraft website, 
And then this awesome poster of some of the 2018 sets there, which is lo which looks amazing, I'll say. Uh, advertisement for LEGO Life, and that's pretty much it. So let's move on to the end of the video. So overall, I think I can now confirm that this is my least favorite of the 2018 LEGO Minecraft sets, at least from the first wave. Um, not to say that it's a bad set, but uh, it's definitely my least favorite out of the others, mainly because a lot of the other ones are a whole lot better, like the Chicken Coop. I would prefer that any over any of the... Uh, sets that are released this year. Then the, of course, there's the uh, the smaller sets like the Melon Farm and the Nether Fight. Those are really good sets for their price. Well, not for their price, they're kind of overpriced. Um, then there's the the Farm Cottage. Uh, well, that one's okay, but I like that one more than this. Uh, the Polar Igloo, I do like that one more than this set. And then there's the Nether Portal, which I definitely like a whole lot more than this set. But uh, overall. Um, it's an okay set, uh, definitely one of the main reasons that anyone would probably want to get this set is for the figures, and there are really only two desirable figures in this set, those being the baby zombie and the bat. But, uh, overall, other than those figures, there isn't a whole lot of stuff that you would really want to get from this set. I mean, the new furnace design is cool, but, uh, you can easily get that in, like, the chicken coop set or something. And then all these ores are, well, they're just ores, you can just build them. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, just not, uh, it doesn't have a whole lot that makes it interesting in terms of new stuff. But, uh, really, the main selling point of this set is the baby zombie and the bats. Most, most of it being the baby zombie. But, uh, overall, that's pretty much all I have to say about this set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!